Buenos días, señor Mason. Buenos días. Hora en amigo. Sí, señor Mason. Gracias. Muchas hasn't been occupied for quite a spell, Marshal. Ain't exactly a town for visiting. Sheets are clean. There ain't no bugs or nothing. Oh, well, that's comforting. Been down low, Marshal. You know a woman named Myra Polson? Myra Polson? Yeah, that's her name. I sure do, Marshal. Fact is, uh, everybody in town knows who Myra Paulson is. Oh, that's beautiful. I finished it last night. It's pretty enough to be a wedding dress. Here, no one gets married. Only Barry. I didn't come for a fitting. I was told I could find Myra Polson here. I'm Myra Polson. My name's Ross, U.S. Marshal. Myra is a good girl. She does nothing wrong. Better you catch some of the culebras and ratas running loose in this town. Easy, ma'am. I just came to make conversation in private. Is where the senoras try on their clothes. 
I have a living to make. Well, don't worry. I won't linger that long. And I am right outside. If I hear you do anything wrong to Maya. Let's see. She worries over you like a mother. Rose is all the mother I have. What? It's dead. What do you want, Marshal? A couple answers to a couple of questions. What about? Fernando Nunez, to start with. What about Fernando? Well, it's my question, Miss Paulson, you tell me. Have you seen it? Not for a long time. Why, is, uh, is Fernando in some kind of trouble? Well, if you could call uh, being wanted for questioning about a bank robbery trouble, yes, I say the boy is in trouble. Well, I haven't seen him. Well, you just said that, Miss Paulson. Well, it's the truth. Did he say where he was going? Why would he tell me where he was going? He was just a worker around here. It was a ranch hand. He, he slept out in the barn. He was... He was... What, Myra? Well, he was mine. And robbing a bank and running away doesn't make me love him any the less. Look, I... I didn't come here to pry into your personal life. You don't have to, Marshal, I'll tell you. My daddy found me in bed with Fernando. He wanted to kill him if he could, but Fernando knocked him down and took off. And then my daddy turned on me like a wild animal. He beat me and he called me Same as he said my mother was Then after he beat me and he called me You want to know what he did then, Marshal? My fine, righteous, every Sunday going to church daddy. Well, he put a gun to his head and he killed himself. He was married to my mother. But she didn't love him, and he knew it. After I was born, she wouldn't give herself to him. I know, I used to hear him plead with her. But she was like stone. And then when he knew he couldn't have her, he called her a whore. That's why he called me a whore. Because he knew that I loved Fernando. And I made love to him. Would you still give yourself to a man if you knew that he was a murderer, as well as a thief? What do you mean? One of the bank guards was killed. Oh, where's Fernando? I told you, I don't know. And anyway, it could not have been him. Look, it's my job to bring him back so he gets a chance to prove his innocence. I'll be over at the hotel in case you remember anything. Now, the quicker I bring him back, the easier it'll be. And the quicker this whole thing will be over. You think about that. Well, a nice place you have here, senorita. Senora, my husband, he is dead. I'm sorry, senora. I'll um, pass the word. <coughs> Marjorie Ross? Who are you? My name is Brown. Your door was open. I figured you wouldn't mind if I waited in here. And why would you be waiting for me? I'm looking for Fernando Nunez. $120,000. Oh, well, that's quite a coincidence. So am I. <laughs> no coincidence. And you expect to find him and all that money in my room, huh? I want all the information you got on Nunez. You do. Would you mind giving me one good reason why? Well, I'm on the case, Marshal. That's the reason why. Well, now, it makes me feel very important. Having a Pinkerton man break into my room, ask me questions. Look, the way we got it figured, there are three men in on the robbery. Nunez, man we can't seem to trace named Kruger, and a third man was shot and killed. So I heard. Yeah, he didn't think he was going to die, but he was able to confess before he did. 
you shoot him, Mr. Brown? <laughs> what? Marshal, whatever gave me that idea? Well, I thought I detected a hint of pride in your voice. Well, the way I see it, it's one down, two more to look forward to. Well, you seem pretty good at arithmetic, too. You like uh, gunning men down? I just do my job the way I see it, Marshal. If I'm forced to defend myself, that's all. That makes the trip back a little lighter, hmm? You got the idea. Now, how about filling me in the information you've got? Well, I think you know just about as much as I do. Marshal, we're working on the same side of the law. Now, just because we start from opposite ends doesn't mean we say you shouldn't cooperate. Well, it's not a lack of cooperation. My end to do. You have yours. But I do mine my way. Did you talk to the girl? I don't think she knows anything. Maybe where he's heading. I'd say Mexico. Well, if that's what you say. And then let's move. We got a lot of riding to do. I don't think you heard me right, Mr. Brown. Come in. I want to talk to you. You're Myra Polson. Mr. Brown, Pinkerton man, private detective. You can leave now, Mr. Brown. This young lady and I have something to talk over. I want to hear what you've got to say. Well, where is he? Take off for Mexico? Come on, don't give me that wide-eyed stare of innocence. The door is open, Mr. Brown. You seem to be forgetting something, Marshal. I'm out after it. $120,000 of bank depositors money. All you've got to worry about is gunning down a killer. You said you'd bring Fernando back alive, but you wouldn't shoot him. I'll bring him back for the trial alive. That's a promise. But he's not a killer. He's just not that kind of man. Maybe you only know one side of him, girly. When we're out there looking down the wrong end of that man's loaded gun, we're going to be sure it ain't for love. Get out. kill him. But if he tries first, I got no choice. I just pray to God he gets away. That's your prayers against me. Because he is not going to get away. I'll find him. Oh boy, ashes smell strong, maybe a day old. All I can smell is that money up front. Almost as good as the smell of fresh fried bacon and hot black coffee. More coffee, Mr. Brown, help keep you awake for the ride tonight? No. How far ahead do you suppose he is? Well, every mile he loses some. I'd say he's less than a day away. I think he knows we're behind him. That doesn't make any difference. Not anymore. We'll get him.
wonder if that Mex is enjoying himself tonight. Thinking all that money he's going to spend. If he lives that long. You don't give up, do you? <laughs> you ever been attacked by a wounded animal, Marshal? Boy isn't wounded. Yet. That's right, he can move around. And he's desperate. That makes him really dangerous. Now, a wounded animal is a lot easier to handle. It's easy to track. Easy to bring down. I believe in playing the percentages, Marshal. That's all. Of course, if we couldn't move at all, we wouldn't even have to do that. You like girls, Mr. Brown? Well, what do you what do you mean? Well, the way you talk about hunting down Nunez. You talk you talk about every man you hunt down that way? What way? Well, you know, the way some men talk about the women they've had. You strike me that way about this boy. <laughs> You're getting to be a real mech lover, aren't you? That sure as hell he'd have a different color skin than yours, Mr. Brown. Take any chances. You pull that trigger one more time, I'm thinking it's gonna have one very dead agent. All right, walk in with your hands up. You must be crazy. I had to come. I was afraid. I I thought if I was with you, I might be able to talk Fernando into giving himself up. <laughs> I've heard everything. It's true. What's your plan? We take you to him, you join him against us, wind up together in Mexico with everything, him and the money, huh? I don't care about the money. I want him and I'll do anything to keep him alive. Anything. Well, now we might just have to be putting you to the test on that. Huh, Marshal? Shut up, Brown. <laughs> You're losing your politeness. Until now, you called me Mr. Brown. Come to think of it, it's a good idea to hurt you on up. If we get him boxed in, you can use her to coax him out. A wounded animal is a lot easier to handle. Remember, Marshal? Get your horse. What kind of a man is that? He's that kind of a man. I hope you know how much you're complicating my job. But I can help. I promise I won't be any trouble. You are not in a position to promise anything. What do you mean? Well, look around you. You might as well be flat in the middle of hell. Now, the only thing you've got, if something should happen to you or your horse breaks a leg, is me. Are you going to promise me that can't happen? No. You better get on back while it's still possible. Because if anything should happen to you, I am not stopping. Now, do you know what that means? Yes. I can't stop. I can't let anything hold me up. Now, is that clear? But I still want to go with you.
You're a lucky man having a girl like you. Somebody like you doesn't come around too often, you know. What are you gonna do when all this is over? Marry him. Oh, I see. Marry him, huh? <laughs> What happens if you're a widow before you're a bride? What's wrong? Come over here! There's a dead horse in the ravine. All right, let's get down there. Come on, we'll go this way. See if it's his. It is. Looks like that ridge gave way up there. Probably couldn't see this ravine in the dark. Lucky he got clear of the horse before he went down. And his broken legs, bullet through the head. That's how they found the bank guard. Bullet through the head. It looks like the Mex has gone bone dry. Isn't that too bad? All that money to spend and no place to go. Well, we'd be generous. We'll put a dollar in his grave when we bury him. Back in here. Get a fresh move in the morning. Well, why wait? He's up in those mountains somewhere. I like to see where I'm going. Gives me a feeling of security. You wait for the daylight, Marshal. I like the night. And what he can't see won't hurt him. All right, hold it, Brown. Marshal! What I can see can hurt you. Now, you want to make this a contest? Well, what contest, Mr. Ross? Against a law-abiding peace officer. Glad to see you remember that. <laughs> Marshal, take his gun. He's broken no law, Miss Polson. What he may be thinking is one thing. But you can't take away a man's gun for thinking thoughts, no matter what. Well, that's mighty wide of you, Marshal. Innocent until proved guilty. I like that. Well, just remember, it doesn't buy you any special privileges. Now settle down, both of you. The 
that's only me. I didn't hear you. Oh, that comes from years of hunting. Sometimes being hunted. You don't trust me, do you? Something about you frightens me. Well, just a simple man in a complicated world is all. And you like to kill. Depends. Fernando doesn't want to kill you. Now, you really are worried about my going to kill him, aren't you? I've seen... I've seen the look you get in your face. Uh, well, no. Maybe you can change that. Maybe you can... help me to... make up my mind about my feelings. I don't understand. Well, you were just saying about seeing that look on my face when you think I'm thinking about killing him. I mean, you're... you're a man. Actually, I'm as harmless as a mouse, but I'm practical. Realistic. That's the way everybody should be, don't you think? Realistic. I mean, for example, what would you say his life was worth? Anything. That's what I thought you'd say. His life for your... anything. And you just pretend that I'm him for as long as it takes. I'll be here waiting. Coffee's ready? No, thank you. Mr. Brown having words with you? Making you promises, I take it. How did you know? <laughs> oh, a man like me. Living the life I've lived, seeing the things I've seen. Just another sense in me to know these things. Especially with all the Browns I've come across in this world. That's what he said. Only he said it differently. Yes, I imagine he would, being who he is. They made you a proposition. Your boy's life for your boy's girl. Nice, clean, upright citizen, Mr. Brown. And what did you tell him? That I love Fernando. You must have touched him. He can't be killed. And I can't promise you that he won't be. <laughs> Miss Paulson, you smell very sweet and strong out here. But don't bargain with me. I'm not Mr. Brown. I aim to keep my promise if it's in my power. Will you talk to him? I'm afraid Mr. Brown and I don't speak the same language. I can't change his sickness. He's never hurt you. He doesn't even know you. <clears throat> He'll know me tomorrow. The marshal will stop you. The marshal won't stop anybody. If it'll be in self-defense. And you can bet my life on that.
the firebrand. Nunez! Nunez! Give up! As long as he holds out. Just pull that trigger. Are you crazy? I'll take your gun. Oh, oh. Here your gun, Brown. Now, when one or both of them get back, I'll give you your gun. Besides, when she hands him that canteen, we'll know where he is. He promised he wouldn't. He promised. <laughs> it was going to be so beautiful. I was waiting until dark. Things picked out behind. Pick them up. Take the horses. Let you ruin it. They told me a bank guard was shot and killed. Did you do it? No. All right, where did you get it? Where? I got what, Marshal? I thought you fired the shot. Marshal. So relax, amigo. You are not going anywhere. But don't be a damn fool. You can't last any time with that little water. 
You watch me. What about the girl? You got to keep her prisoner? Prisoner? She's got my other gun on you! Oh, you're bleeding bad. Let me try to stop it. I have to wait. I don't have the strength to get out of here tonight. <coughs> Oh, I, I don't know enough what to do. <laughs> let me call up the marshal. You, you're crazy. Please, let me call him. Sure. So they can watch me die. What's the difference? You have some water. Save it. We'll need it tomorrow. Then at least get some sleep. Can't. <laughs> Two against one, you give me back my gun, we've up and taken. All right. You lead the way. You can take the first shot in your guts. Hmm. We're just going to stay here and wait, huh? Well, he's not going anywhere. And we're not going anywhere. Even though she's helping him, he must be hurt pretty bad. Thanks to me. Yeah, you must feel very proud of yourself. Fernando, wake up. Fernando, wake up, please. I've reached a point in my life where exposing the back of my head to a fellow like you could make me nervous. You learn fast, Marshal. Uh-huh. After you, Mr. Brown. Just the hat, Mr. Brown. Marshall's on his way up now. There's blankets down below. I'll help you. I'll do anything. Only don't die. Please don't die.
Marshal? Well, if that ain't a sight to make a grown man cry. You. You shot him. You rotten, you filthy liar! Didn't help, did it? Better him than one of us. Ah, uh, Mr. Brown, you can leave that right where it is. This is my business. After I finish counting it, I'll think about what's your business. Now put it back. Why? Sure, Marshal. I'll be right back. There. He's lost a lot of blood. He's been having fever and chills. I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting him off this mountain in the dark. We'll stay here till morning. Dead yet. Marshal, you gonna let her keep that gun? Are you nervous about something, Mr. Brown? You give her a gun, you know damn well she'd like to kill me. I wouldn't shoot you, Mr. Brown. I promise I wouldn't shoot you. I'll even make it a promise. You understand all about promises now, don't you, Mr. Brown? Wait a minute, man. What are you going to sit there and do something? He's going to kill me! I promise I won't shoot you. I promise I won't kill you, Mr. Brown! All right, you can stop running, Mr. Brown. You're a very lucky man. <laughs> How'd it feel, killer? Use for bandages. Fancy bandages. Tear them into strips. Brown, get that hot water over here. All right, hold the shoulders down. I'm not gonna help him. You want to get out of here alive? Be a lot simpler, a lot quicker. Just let him die. We'll bury him. Hold him down. Ah! 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 
Press down harder. It'll be all right. Fernando, it'll be all right. Fernando, it'll be all right. Now hold him. Fernando, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Souvenir, Mr. Brown. You might want to show it to your grandchildren one day. You think he's going to be all right? Who's God? Wait and see. For how long? How long do you think the water's going to last? Then you take your ration and leave, Mr. Brown. You think I won't? I wish you would. All right. You go alone, Mr. Brown. The money goes back with me. I don't let anybody do my job, Marshal. Then you'll just have to wait. Now, look. I've got what I came for. Now, why should I wait around for him to get well? Because he's going to die anyway, one way or the other. Now, I am getting sick and tired of both of you. Now, you made your deal with him, and that didn't work. He shot Nunez anyway. But you will not set as your revenge on my time. And you, Brown. You stay away from him and her. Because if you don't, so help me. I'll dump the whole lot of you right here and you just rot! You take care of him, and I'll take care of the law. Go easy on that. It's my ration, Marshal. Maybe. But you'll not make it out of here if you keep giving him yours. I'll make it. Just water. Just wanted to run off with all the money? You should know better than to try that, Kruger. What? We could have made it just fine if you hadn't got greedy, Kruger. Kruger? Max is out of his mind. He knows. Yeah, delirious, yeah. Come on, amigo. No point in trying to hide now. He shot the vanguard. Ask him. Let him tell you. Look, I got credentials. You saw them. Oh, have you got credentials? How were they, Marshal? Look pretty good to you, eh? Just like the real thing. You're not going to believe them. Kruger, 
It's me, Fernando. I know you like my own brother, God forbid. You're telling me he was in the robbery with you? Up to his eyeballs. Him, me, and Mason. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, what's that supposed to mean? You've been boiling over to kill this man right from the beginning. It makes sense now, if you're Kruger. I told you how I do my job. Yeah, you told me. Just ask the bank guard, Marshal. He knows how Kruger does his job. Yeah, you just better be very careful what you believe. Because when we get back, I'll dig a hole so deep you'll never get out of it. Well, you go on and do that, Mr. Brown. Because the most that can happen to me is I lose my badge. And seeing as how this is my last job anyway, you find the biggest hole you can. And seeing as how you just tried to put a knife in me, I'm treating you the same as him. Because Brown or Kruger, it makes no difference to me. We go. We go together, amigo. You. Ah. Meyer, get the rope. Rope? Now oh, look. Shut up! How do you like that, Kruger? Uh, now you, Nunez. My pleasure, senor. Well, tonight I would say no need for your gun. But tomorrow, now, that might be another story. Well, I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, you will be very sleepy come mañana, senor. Well, don't you lose any sleep over it, huh? No, Marshal, I won't. I will sleep like a baby. And Marshal, you saved my life, gracias. That just makes us even, so don't thank me. That's enough. You can have my share. I don't need any. You gonna give them all the water? Don't worry. Nobody's gonna cheat you out of your share. Just want to make sure of equal rights. That's all. Hey, I'm sorry, Nunez. We can't rest. We're giving out of water. And I'm not sure about this horse carrying double. 
I don't need no favors, Marshal. And we're not thinking of you. We've just got to get back, Fernando. We've We rest here. How are they holding up? Well, if they start dropping like Brown's horse, we're in trouble. Be them or us for the water. Think we're gonna make it? I'd like to think so. You ought to try to get some sleep, Marshal. You're beginning to look awfully tired. Look, I'll make a deal with you. You don't give me any sympathy, I don't give you any. It wasn't sympathy. We need you. Look, we are stuck with each other if you call that a need. Now, I didn't want you along when you first showed up. I wanted you even less after that night between you and Brown. What night between him and her, Marshal? What about you and him? I ask you! I... So? What's going on, amigo? Not my place to say. You open your mouth. Finish it! Look, I don't mean to interrupt. I don't care what you say, I gotta have water for that horse. Sorry. He's not gonna hold up. He'll have to. I gotta have water for that horse! You want water for your horse? Give him yours! What Ross said about you and him. Myra. It's just something happened. What? Fernando, at this point, we're just trying to stay alive long enough to... Can't we talk about this when we get back? I don't know. 
trust me. You've just got to trust me. You shouldn't have said what you did in front of Fernando. Well, sometimes a man gets weary. Gets frustrated. Angry. His tongue slips and he says things he shouldn't say. It wasn't how you think, Marshal. Sure, maybe I would have done anything to keep that man from killing Fernando. And deep down inside I knew that well, that he was a liar and that he wanted to shoot him. But the truth is, I never had the chance to hate myself. He raped me. Now, you can believe that or not. But I can't be hurt anymore. leg. different now. I'm different now. This is me, Fernando. I am not different. Why do you say you are different? Because. Why? Don't ask me that, Fernando. Why, Myra? 
Because you wouldn't understand. You tell me what? I won't understand. He said he wouldn't kill you. He promised me. Who promised? I couldn't stop him. I tried, but I couldn't help myself. I couldn't stop him. I did nothing. Him? I told you I did nothing. He forced me. No. Ramada. No. Don't call me. Cougar! Cougar! Fernando, don't. Come here, Cougar. I don't answer to that name. Just come over here. Well, how was she, Cougar? Oh, God. How was she what, Nunez? How was she? I've had better. You heard that, Myra? His hat better. Stop it! All of you, you're dirt, just dirt, that's all. I used to love you, but, but you don't even know what that means. Well, I'm not going to have anybody thinking that I'm just like some dirty little lolly cat. You're going to marry me right now, right here. The marshal can do it. Come on, Myra. You said you'd send for me when you got to Mexico. You said we'd get married. That was then. That doesn't change anything. I'm not going to live this way another day. I'm not going to have anybody looking at me like I was just something not even human. How human were you when you gave yourself to him? I've got your baby in me. It'll be all right, Myra. Myra? Myra. I'll well face it, she's gone. It's time for the wedding, Myra. A wedding. Your wedding to Fernando. Not me. Not to her. the only woman you ever had? And if you didn't kill the bank guard, how many men did you kill that the law doesn't even know about? A man gets married only once in his life. He doesn't pick una ramera. <laughs> you are not worth saving, Nunez. But you're going to give her that. What's the difference? You ready for the wedding now, Myra? Oh, yes. I the ceremony, I'll write it up, all legal and proper. And you can show it to anybody that wants to know. That you're Mrs. Fernando Nunes. Mrs. Fernando Nunes. I'm not dressed proper. Doesn't matter. For a broad dress, Rosemary is special.
All right, over here, your best man. Well, I buried him. I christened him. It's the first time I'd ever married him. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God to join together this man and this woman in the state of holy matrimony. Now, if there's anyone here who objects to this matrimony, let him now speak up or forever hold his peace. Now, to you, Myra Coulson, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband. Thank you. To you, Fernando Nunez, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife. I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. What horse do I ride on? You ride with him. I'd rather crawl first. Suit yourself. Myra? Myra, this piece of paper says you're married. Time to go now, Myra. can't carry both of you. You'll have to walk. Now, even if you have strength to steal that horse, he doesn't have strength enough to carry you. Remember what happened to your horse? When he ran out of water? What? Son got into you, Marshal. I'm asking him a question. Yeah, I remember what happened to a horse when it ran out of water. Same thing happens to people. Only it takes longer. So hot. Your skin begins to feel like leather. Man gets so dried out. That's why my, my water. That's my water. That's my water. It's enough. I 
I wasn't going to hit him, honest, I wasn't. I was just joking. I was just pretending that's all I was doing. <laughs> I was just pretending. <laughs> But how could you do that? You see. You see? It... Ah. Too bad, Kruger. You will never pull a trigger with that hand again. Yet I can prove my identity. Maybe. But I will die saying you are cougar. And I will die happy. If you die saying you are brown, so you will die happy. It all depends who between us dies first. Walk with you, Myra. So you're not believing I'm who Nunya says I am. Not for me to say. But I'm not. You got nothing to worry about. Yeah. yeah you're half believing it, aren't you? Because even if I wasn't Kruger, you really want to believe it. No, it is. You tell him, Dan. Tell him. Tell him what? You yeah, tell him. About how you shot the vanguard, Kruger. What do you want? I want a dollar. I want a dollar. <laughs> Noon, yes. There's a dollar 
for your grave from Kruger. You already got what Brown wanted for you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.